This is Steve Sweatpants here, and right now we're in Chinatown. And today we are going to try to find some complementary colors and positions of light source. One of the reasons why I chose Chinatown is because it's one of my favorite places to come in the city when it comes to colors. It's very colorful. Um, it's full of characters. It's full of life. Like I said, I'm self-taught, and I learned everything just from experience. So this is not like the scientific way to look at a um, the color wheel. Um, I just like to put colors together in photos that normally are not there together. Um, so say if somebody's wearing all red and they happen to be in front of a red wall, I would try to take that photo because that will be unique for the person, that will be unique for the time, and it's um, a reference to like, you know, where you're at in the city. So hopefully we can find something like that today. Oh, this is my, my favorite little lady. I just saw a little earlier. So I'm taking a picture of her because she's just awesome. And the Empire State Building, is, I mean, the World Trade Center is right behind there, so it looks kind of sick. That came out kind of fiery, bro. Uh, see, this looks cool. You see, you got dudes walking around, you got kids walking, you got the world tracing it and a bunch of fog. Obviously, having like even the red, white, and blue from the truck to having the red, white, and blue from the flag and the world trade center being blue. Being in Chinatown is also really cool because of all the buildings are different colors. So you just have like a million tones, just tones everywhere. Like I said, you have to be observant, you have to be really quick, and you have to be alert. When you see something that just interests you and catches your eyes, you should really just go for it. Oh. You should go down East Broadway. East Broadway would be a little bit cooler to go down. Oh, all right. I'm Steve Sweatpants, and right now we are in Chinatown. And this is actually one of my favorite spots to uh, shoot at. One of the photos from the lesson is actually in this spot, in the same exact position where you're looking at me right now. Um, so right now we're trying to find complementary colors, um, some cool light in a position of light source, and hopefully we can see some really crazy ass people walking around here too. I've already been blessed twice, so let's see what happens. This is really cool to post up either way anyway around here actually like we could post up right here well we could post up right here see this is where the, this is like where the, all the action happens right here yeah see this guy who's coming up right now like the swaggy old man with the plaid shirt and the Kangol hat he has the colors on that was the man that was the man that's that squad goals right there bro since his shirt is like blue and green plaid, it matches the blue and green on the building in the back. So you just look for specific colors to heighten other ones. So you just always look for somebody who's wearing something that complements something in the background. See, he has green on. So there's another, another example. If you find somebody wearing a certain kind of top or there's a certain kind of color car and it's around something that has a complementing color, like a red car with somebody wearing a red shirt or, you know, green grass with somebody wearing a green shirt or something along those lines. Uh, just take a photo of it and see, let me see what your interpretation of it is. This dude looks pretty cool. This probably would look cool as a black and white. Uh, when I'm shooting stuff, uh, even for a cop, like colors, uh, complimentary colors, I think about the edit a lot and I think about if I want to make the photo black and white or not and uh, Anytime I see somebody wearing like kind of like a, a lighter top and it's as opposed to like a very solid background, um, I just always like to play around to see if it looks cool in black and white. Uh, I like to have my black and whites a little bit more contrasty and a little bit more focused on the black and white and less like gray area. This dude's blue shirt looks really pretty sick. The light is really dope right now too. It's falling in places like really nice. It's looking like a nice little overcast and stuff. I'm shooting this corner because I like the way that the light's falling in the corner. And I can get people walking into the light. Um, so when I get people walking into the light from this side, you get really cool shadows. They came out pretty dope. The, oh, dude, this dog is sick. Hey, can I take a picture of your dog? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hey. One more. 
She's cute though. What kind of dog is it? Shisu. Oh. Is a girl or boy? Her. What's her name? Sugar. Sugar? Yeah. Can I take a picture of the dog right here with really? Sorry, I know you. <laughs> Sugar! This is going this is gonna be on YouTube, you know that, right? So this dog is actually like the perfect example of complimentary colors because she's wearing like the pink collar and she has like pink on in the background, which is pretty cool. Bye, sugar. Bye. See you later. Peace out. I'll give you some money later. That was perfect, dude. Like you can't even have this dog sugar out here. So even in like in the photo, it looks kind of, it looks really crazy. Cause look at sugar. So I shot that on um, 1.8, mainly because I just wanted to focus on how fucking cute that dog was. Having that dog be there is literally like the ideal situation because like the dog had on every color that I was looking for. Uh, she had like a beige coat. No, she was like white. She had a white coat on and she had like a beige head. And that literally fits everything what's going on with the buildings and her pink collar brings out uh, the colors that's going on on that side of the building as well too. So it's like literally the perfect combination of colors. I'm Steve Sweatpants and we are in Chinatown right now, Chinatown, New York and the lesson plan was finding complementary colors and also position, positions of light source. And I think we accomplished both of those things today. We used different kinds of light from shooting scale on the roof, also to shooting like kind of like street photography around the city right now in Chinatown. So the next thing that we want to do is do vanishing points and light source in uh, Myrtle and Broadway in Brooklyn. This light looks really crazy right now, dude.